children in the previous lesson we learned an easy method of addition and subtraction of numbers in this lesson we will see some interesting examples of the same all the traders of the village used to visit the city often to sell their goods on the way to the city the sun was very harsh and there was only one tree on the entire route all the traders would rest in the shade of this tree and then walk towards the city one day appu was going to the city with 250 boxes of sweets from his shop like all the traders he slept in the shade of the tree to take some rest when appu woke up he saw that he now had only 31 boxes of sweets when he looked up he saw that there were lots of monkeys on the tree eating sweets from his boxes earlier appu had 250 boxes of sweets and now he has only 31 boxes of sweets can you tell how many boxes of appu sweets were taken by the monkeys How do we find out the number of boxes the monkeys had taken? We need to subtract the number of boxes Appu was carrying with him from the number of boxes left with Appu. We will write 250 and 31 using 100, 10 and one digit places in the place value chart. Is this correct children? We have zero ones. Can we subtract one from zero? No. What do we have to do now? Absolutely right. To find a solution to this, we will use the borrowing method we learned in the previous lesson. We will borrow one tens out of five tens. Now we have ten ones. and 4 tens if we subtract 1 one ones from 10 ones how many remains 9 ones if we subtract 3 tens from 4 tens how many tens remain 1 ten and finally subtract 0 hundred from 2 hundred then what do we get 200 The monkeys took Appu's 219 sweet boxes. Babban was very clever. He had heard from the villagers about the mischief of the monkeys and had thought of a plan. The next day, Babban took a few hats and set out towards the city. He deliberately slept under the same tree. When he woke up, He realized some of his hats were missing. He looked up to see the monkeys were wearing his 115 hats and he had 208 hats left with him. Can you tell how many hats did Babban have with him earlier? Well done children. You have solved it correctly. Here we have used the method of addition. Babban previously had a total of 323 hats with him. Babban now put his plan into action. He knew that the monkeys would surely imitate whatever he does. So he took off his hat and threw it on the ground. Babban's plan worked. Whatever he thought, it happened. Seeing Babban throwing his hat on the ground, the monkeys also threw their hats on the ground. Babban immediately collected all the hats and proceeded towards the city. Thus Babban taught the monkeys a good lesson. From that day, the monkeys never bothered anyone. Children, in this lesson we have seen some more interesting examples of addition and subtraction of numbers. In the next lesson we will learn some interesting facts about it.